Hi everyone, it's me, Sasha Kawaii Cat, and today I will be doing the Draw This In Your Style Challenge. Now the first artist we'll be taking a look at today is Sailty. I really hope I'm saying that right. So I came across Sailty's Draw This In Your Style Challenge and I immediately wanted to do this character. I saw it and I thought this character is very much my aesthetic and I'd very much like to do a drawing of her. I mean, with the pink hair and the cat ears, of course I wanted to do a drawing of her. So before I started, I did look through some of Sailty's art because I've never actually heard of this artist before. And I thought their work was very aesthetically pleasing. I very much liked all their art pieces. And I immediately followed them after seeing all their artwork because it was just really good stuff. And then I immediately pulled out my tablet and went to work on this drawing because I was very excited to do something of this character. So their drawing is just a bust or a portrait and I have not done a draw this in your style challenge in a while but usually when I pick a character to draw I always want to do something kind of different. I don't want to stick too closely to what the original drawing is. So of course I decided to do a full body drawing instead. And as you can see I had to work out a different outfit for her because I could only see her top half. But I very much think what I came up with matched the top half of the drawing. I was very happy with what I did and I spent a lot of time working on this drawing and by the end I thought it looked very nice. I added some things like the bracelets and of course, I had to design the bottom half, so I gave her I gave her pants and I gave her some really nice shoes. I hope it looks like the top half. I hope it matches. Um, I think it does, but I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments below. But I was very pleased with how this first one turned out. The character very much looks like something that I would draw. I mean, my name is Sasha Kawaii Cat for a reason. I love cats and I love cute things and I thought this girl looks very cute and I think the drawing looks cute overall. You guys can let me know in the comments as well about the drawing. What do you think? But I really liked how it turned out. The next draw this in your style is by Akatsi. Again, I really hope I'm saying this right. <laughs> now, Akatsi is someone I've actually heard of before. Um, I follow her on Instagram and I think her art is very lovely. L um, like the artist before, her art is very aesthetically pleasing. It's very cute stuff and I like cute stuff. So of course, I decided to do her Draw This In Your Style challenge of her character. I very much liked the design and I thought it would look very cute in my style. So I got to work on this character and immediately I wasn't too happy with the pose. So I decided to do something a bit different. Because I didn't want it to look too different from the original drawing, um, I didn't do a full body a full body drawing or anything like that. I just kind of changed her pose a bit. So she's given a peace sign and um, I guess not much else. You can kind of see the rest of her outfit, but not not by a lot. I didn't want to make this one too complicated. The drawing, is, the drawing is already very cute and kind of simple, but I really liked it, so I didn't want to change it up too much. 
I spent a lot of time trying to draw her fingers and eventually I just had to pull up a reference because I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> um, that's a piece of advice for you guys. If you don't know how to draw something, just get a reference. I didn't really change much on this, but I was a bit confused about the outfit that she was wearing. I didn't really understand what it was. I guess it's sort of a nurse um, outfit based on the hat. But I didn't really fully understand it. I didn't understand the little um, the thing in her hair, the sort of wing thing. I don't know what it is. If it's like, I don't know, a sort of clip or something. I don't know. But I thought it was cute. Um, I added it while not knowing what it was, but <laughs> um, I think it's a cute ac accessory in her hair. Um, and I like the design of this and I like what I did. I also decided to do a whole different background. I liked what Akatsi did, but I kind of wanted to do something that was more in my art style. And I love adding sparkles everywhere and sort of a pastel background, so I did that instead. Again, I really hope you guys like how this turned out. Don't forget to comment below and let me know what you think. So the next art piece that I decided to redraw is by At Fresh Bobete. I really hope I said that one right as well. Um, she's another artist that I follow online on Instagram and her art piece is probably the most aesthetically pleasing. It's so lovely. I very much enjoy it. And as soon as I saw her character, I decided I really want to draw this girl. And so I immediately pulled out my tablet and started to draw her. And this was the one that I think I did, I changed the least. I changed her the least because I don't know, I really liked the drawing and I ended up doing something that was just very similar. And I can say that I don't think that for these challenges, you have to go out of your way to do something that's um, incredibly different. Um, at the end of the day, I think the main, the main goal is just to draw this character in your own art style and that is what I did but I can't say I guess I should have changed it up a bit while I was looking at it and while I was drawing it I thought it looked very similar and I think this is a problem I had before because I did do a draw this in your style challenge by at fresh Bobate before and I don't think I changed it up a lot so like uh, a lot of people thought I was copying her art which is sort of the point I mean, it's not the same thing. When you do a draw this in your style challenge, you are essentially sort of copying the artist's work, but not really because you're not you're not trying to recreate the same drawing. You're just drawing the same thing, but you're drawing it in your style. Whereas if you were copying it, you would be trying to draw it exactly in their style, exactly as you see it. And that's not what I did. But I still think I, I should have mixed it up a little bit more. I did stick very closely to the drawing, but I liked how it turned out and it's very much done over in my own style. And the one thing I guess I will say is that I do think that my art style is very similar to Fresh Bobate's. <laughs> I really hope I'm saying her name right. <laughs> um, but yeah, what, while I was looking over it, I thought it looked, I thought it looked very good, but I should have changed it up a bit. It was definitely one of the more easier ones to draw because I think her art style is kind of similar to kind of similar to my own but not really but i did see some similarities like the way she does backgrounds and stuff like that i love doing my backgrounds like that as well with all the sparkles and the lines so that's something that's kind of similar um for the art piece as i said i didn't change a lot but i did have some trouble with some of the the coloring and adding and getting the 
this sort of shapes right <laughs> while I was adding the lines on her jacket I didn't know what I was doing it just looked so wrong to me part of me felt like ref like completely removing it but I thought whatever okay you know what I just remembered I did change something well just right now while I'm looking over the drawing I remembered that I added a skirt <laughs> I added a cute little checkered skirt because I wanted to to sort of have her jacket open in her drawing in the original drawing by at Frisch Bobete. Her jacket is kind of closed and I decided to have mine have her with her jacket open. And because of that I had to add a I had to add um you know what was underneath the jacket. So I added this cute little skirt and I think the skirt matches the outfit very well. Uh, I don't know, that's just what I think. Again, let me know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, I really liked how this one turned out. Again, it's just very similar to the original. I definitely could have changed it up a bit, but I still like what I did and I think it looks very pretty. So if you guys like it, let me know. If you guys think I should have changed it up a bit more, let me know. I think that's an interesting conversation to have. So anyway, these are the drawings and I really liked how all of them turned out. I had so much fun drawing these. I had art block for the longest time. <laughs> well, not that long, but I did have art block and I didn't know what to draw. And then I decided to do this to do these challenges and I immediately just started drawing because all the art pieces that I chose was just so lovely. Also, I do have to mention today's sponsor. <laughs> That's a joke. I don't have a sponsor. Check out my Patreon, please. The link is in the description. You'll have early access to speed paint videos and you can get your name in the end credits of my videos. And you can see some sketches and some line art. So please check that out. Link is below. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.